Hi, hello, welcome and welcome to yet another episode on Little Sla YouTube channel. So far, we are seeing in our previous videos about some of the logic controllers and we have seen some of the most important controllers where we use them often like the if controller, the loop controller, the simple and transaction controller, the once only controller and the interleave controller. And I believe you would have watched all these videos and it was very useful to you. So today we are going to see about what is a random controller, how to use it and what is the difference between the random controller and the other controllers. I believe this video would be very useful to you. And before we dive into the video, I request you all to subscribe to our channel Little Sla, like the video, comment your questions and feedback and share the video with your friends. So with no delays, we'll go to the video. So today, as I said earlier, so we are going to see about the logic controller, which is the random logic controller. So let's see how to add a logic controller. So to add a logic controller, we need to have a thread group. And to add a thread group, let me remove this and I will show you again. So to add a thread group, we'll have to right click on the test plan, go to add thread and thread group. And now we have the thread group with us. And to add the logic controller, right click on the thread group, go to add logic controller. And then we have the random controller, which is below the once only controller. So let me choose a random controller. And we'll have few requests added to it. We'll add some three requests so that we can have a demo on how this random controller works. So I'm adding a request, HTTP request. And I'm adding two more requests as well. So now we have three HTTP requests. Let me change the name so that we can easily identify them. So I'm making this as random controller request one copying it now and random controller request two and finally random controller request three so below this let's add the name as well so many it is so this is to make sure that the transaction gets a pass symbol a pass signal pass response and now to see the results we will add a view results tree which comes under the listener and we have the view results tree and in fact there are multiple listeners here like the summary report the aggregate report the backend listener and various other results our listeners so we will see them one by one in our future videos so for now we have configured three requests under the random controller the request one the request two and the request three and we have the view results tree and here in the thread group we have one thread with one loop which is one iteration let me start the execution and we will see how does this work and what was the request that gets hit. Before that, let's save this project. So let's run the script. So now we have the setup with us, which is the random controller, the random logic controller and three requests under this. And let's run a demo and see how does this work. So, so far we have got the request two, which has got executed. Now, since we have got one thread and one iteration 
so so what is a random logic control so this is similar to the interleave controller so which we have seen in our previous video and if you have not watched it you can uh, check it in my playlist and also in the description so you can it is similar to the interleave controller except that instead of going in order through its subcontrollers and samplers it picks one at random at each pass so this is something similar to the interleave controller because in interleave controller if you see it works in a sequential order which starts from the top to bottom so if we run this same test with the interleave controller we could have seen that it started with the first request and it would have skip out of the controller so that's how the interleave controller works that is it goes through the first request and come out if there is only one uh, loop count or one iteration if there are two it process the first and the second and if there is three it comes through the first second and third and okay so let's see the parameters here so this random controller has a parameter which is ignore subcontroller blocks which if we check it the interleave controller will treat subcontrollers like single request elements and only one request per controller at a time will be executed let's see them with an example so before that let's see few more options like i will increase the loop count to two and let's see how does this work so in our previous execution we have got the second request that i got executed and i'm not clearing it out so i'm running with two iterations and let's see how does this work so here we could see the first request is random controller 3 and the second request is random controller 2 so let us run with one more example so i'm running it with three iterations without clearing it let's see how does this work so again we could see here so every time we could not see the request one that has not executed so every time the request is getting chosen randomly by the random controller so this is similar to the interleave but the only thing is this random controller chooses the request based on its own random choice so let us make a quick change so i'm we'll run this with two user and three iterations and let's see how does this work so i'm running the test now so here we could see the first request has got executed with the first user and the second user and then the first user has picked up the third request the second user has picked up the third request again and for the third user sorry for the second user so it goes like this the first user the second user and again the first user and the second user and then the first user has picked up the first request and the second user has picked up the third request in their third iteration so if you see here the second request has not been executed in this test so this is how this particular controller works so let's see a quick difference here so let me make a duplicate of this controller and i will change it to interleave controller and let's see the difference between the random controller and the interleave controller i'll change the name interleave controller i'll change the name of the request as well so that you can easily understand which request has got executed so here we have a random controller and a interleave controller with the same three requests and let us start from the very first which is one user and one thread and let's see how does this work let me clear all these test results and i'm running it now so here we could see again as we seen already earlier that the random chooses the random requests from it from its controller but the interleave starts from the sequential way that is from the top to bottom so let's now increase the count to two and let's see how does this work i'm not clearing it again so here we could see the random controller chooses the third request and again the third request but the interleave controller chooses the first request in its first iteration and the second it 
request in its second iteration. So this is how it goes. Let's run one more test and see how does this work. So again, it is very well clear that the random controller chooses on its own random manner and the interleave controller chooses in a sequential manner, which is top down, which is one, two and three. And that's the difference between the random and the interleave controller. So let's now change this interleave controller to a simple controller and see how does this controller works. So this is for a simple understanding on how does this work. So we'll have with one user and three iterations and let's see how does this work. So here we could see the random controller has executed three times with different values but again it's it just chooses only one request out of the any number of requests that it has but for the simple controller sorry this is a simple controller let let me change it and again i'll execute it for better understanding these are simple controllers Let me clear it and here we go so we have the random controller so any number of requests it's not only three if even if you keep 100 requests out of 100 this random controller will choose just one request which is that that level of activity is similar to what we have in interleave so it just executes only one request out of its any number of controllers so we have to remember it very carefully in case if we are using it in our test but the simple controller it actually executes the test in the order which is the sequential order what what it has inside its controller so it executes all the requests which are inside the controller so every request has got executed but for the random controller it's just only one request and even that too has been chosen randomly and that's the difference so let's try i'm changing this to another controller which is the once only controller which we have seen in our previous videos and let's see a quick difference between the once only once only controller and our random controller so this will bring us more idea on where and how to use these controllers in our test effectively so let's clear this and just we'll see so we have one thread and the loop count is three so let's run this test and see how does this work so we could see here the random controller has got executed three times but the once only controller has got executed just only once but since it has three requests so they all have got executed once so which is they have all executed once and that's the reason we could see that the random controller has got executed first time and then it has come down to once, once only and then it has got executed completely and there is no more nothing more to do and then again it went back to random controller for the second iteration and we have got the third request and for the third iteration we have got the second request so this is the difference between the random controller and the other controllers like or simple controller or once only controller or interleave controller so with that we come to an end i believe this video would have been very much useful to you we'll meet in more interesting videos in our future session so till then it's bye bye from vasant shanmugam and little sla please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting and informative videos and please share a word with your friends on our little sla youtube channel Thank you and bye-bye from Vasan Chanmugam and Little Slaw.